So how did I get this photo of the supermoon over Atlanta? Well, this video is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to capture the supermoon using an app called PhotoPills. Alright, so when you jump into the phone here, you have all these different, different options. You have the planner, the sun, you can see. It helps you plan your shots and you can dive a little bit deeper into this. However, what we're going to do, we're going to go to the moon. And I'm going to go to the, the calendar down here. And we're going to go to April 26th because this is when I took this photo. So you'll notice it has the yellow circle around it and that indicates that it's going to be a super moon. If we look for May, it's going to be on May 26th. So if we click on here, you will see the moon will be 98.4% full. And what we do, we go down to the corner here where it says action, send the planner. And I already have this a little set up so, um, because I knew what I wanted. So in this location on Crest Lawn out in West Midtown in Atlanta, my goal was to get these statues here lined up as closely as possible to get the city. So you have the moon a little bit to the side of the city, Midtown, um, Atlantic Station, and then you can see here you have this this little line. So this is when it's right in that line right there. And that's how you can tell it's it's lined up. So if I look, 6:51. And if we zoom out, you'll notice that the, the moon is rising a little bit left to the city here. And that matches up. Um, ideally, what you would like to do is get another location. So for the next super moon, what I'm going to do is try to get a location where I can get the city, let's say over Midtown. Let's go back to the calendar now. Go to May 26. Let's send to the planner. And now you can kind of see, so right around 12 a.m. kind of the same thing. So what I want to do is move this over a little bit and try to find a location in Atlanta where this line will line up exactly. So right around. The moon will be rising around 8 p.m. and you can see it matches perfectly. And it will move slightly. So what happens when the sun comes up, if you look at the photo here, when the sun comes up, uh, sorry, as you can see here, as the moon comes up, it slightly moves over towards the right as it's moving up. And you can see the line here on my phone. It slowly curves up. And a little tip, once you get to your location or if you're scouting and you kind of want to see what I did. So I would go to a location, moon. Let's just make sure everything's set up. May 4th, no, let's do the 26th. Send the planner. So I, and you can see here in my apartment, the moon will be right around there, around 9 to 9.17. So if you're going out to a location, you're scouting it, you pull up the AR, you, you can kind of get an idea if it's going to match up or not. So that's a really short tutorial on how to get the super moon. Um, give a little bit of an explanation of how to use photo pills. It's only a $10 app. Um, it's a one-time purchase that works really well and I recommend it. Um, so if you go out there, you use photo pills, you watch this tutorial and you got the super moon, please be sure to tag me. Um, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Even just liking and leaving a comment helps tremendously with the YouTube algorithm. So be sure to smash the like button. Um, and until next time. Thank you.